Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Shakisha of Her Lovely Plan and I am here to do a plan with me in my standard traveler's notebook in my week's insert. And this is gonna be for January 21st through the 27th, I believe. So today, I'm not gonna do a kit, um, but I am going to use this weekly um, color sticker book by Life Organized. And I'm going to use, um, I should have page marked it. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna use this color right here because I want to be able to incorporate some of these um, icon deco stickers that came with the kit from Le Cinq Oat and that shop LCA. And I thought that this color would match perfectly. Um, so before I get into um, setting up, just to kind of let you see my week for last week, now I am pre-planning early because by the time you've seen this, I would have celebrated my birthday. Um, so you're only gonna see some partial um, after the pin. Um, so as you can see, um, I've been going through, once I set up my planner, I go in daily and write the things that I've done. If I know it's something that I'm going to do, I'll add that in for the next day or what have you. Um, just like on this one, I'm filming on Thursday and I don't have anything um, here, um, but I do have some um, little notes right there. So as you can see, it's very useful. I normally don't tend to have a whole lot um, because I have multiple planners, I put stuff in each planner. So for my day-to-day -day stuff that has to do with me, goes here, my notes that or my plans that have to go in my business plan will go in my classic and so forth and so on. Now, if I just had one planner, then this will probably be full and I would probably probably need a lot more white space. So that's why it's kind of important to decide how you're gonna plan, how many planners you're gonna use because if you use one, then you may have to calm down on the deco because you're gonna need more space. If you have multiple planners, you can kind of go ham, eggs, and bacon um, on your deco because you won't need as much white space. So I think that is, you know, a kind of a good tip. I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I think that's a good tip. If you, all you have is one planner, don't go crazy with the stickers because you're not going to have anywhere to write. Not unless you use a lot of list style stickers. But um, when you have multiple planners, you have more room to decorate. So enough of my teacher um, session with you guys. Let's go into planning for this next week.
So me and this half box sticker, we was beefing this whole spread. Like I could not get it together. My intentions were to cover up that um, week of section because I didn't want to use washi. Um, and you'll see later on that it'll end up being in a whole totally different position. And it ended up working out for the greater good of this spread. So I've really been enjoying this particular layout um, in this weekly insert that I'm currently using, but I will probably switch my inserts for February just because I'm still trying to find what works best for me. And one of the bonuses of doing printable inserts for your traveler's notebook, you can get them very inexpensive. Um, I think I may spend $3. The most I might have spent was like, um, six dollars on a printable but that's because it has certain customizations but the one thing about printables once you understand how to print them for your particular printer you can always reprint them and give them to other people especially the undated insert so it's the insert that keeps on giving and it'll save you a little cha-ching Okay you guys, I am finished. So I kept it kind of short and sweet to the point. Um, as mentioned earlier, I don't know why I was on the struggle bus with this sticker right here. I do know that I didn't want um, that week of up there. Now what I am realizing, what's that the way? Um, one thing I like about inserts, one, especially if you get printables, you don't spend that much money and you kind of figure out what works for you. Um, I will honestly say I like this layout a little bit, um, but I don't like um, the dates, how they are on the side and how they have the week of at the top. Um, so more than likely next month, I will be using a different insert. Now this is a three month weekly calendar. Um, and typically most of the inserts that you get are like, um, not three weeks, it's three months. So most of them are quarterly. Um, so anything that you print 
um, or purchase in insert form is normally going to be a three months work worth of weeks um, but you know again like I said I mean I'm not gonna feel bad about not using this um, next month just because it's kind of cool to have different months stacked away so I know January this was that February that was that um, and hopefully maybe I can find a layout that works for me a hundred percent where I don't have to do a lot of whiting out and things of that nature um, I'll probably end up having to get well these are undated it just has the days of the week on there but anyway I'm rambling so like I said I'm okay with this layout I do have another layout that I got from the 1407 planner company um, that I'm excited about using in February so we're gonna see how that turns out so um, as you can see sorry that was my robe um, I use pretty much all of the stickers that were in the weekly um, layout on this and just to kind of show you I mean it comes with your flags your half boxes weekend one full box two flags and a lot of these um, I typically don't use a lot of icon stickers at least these type and I don't have any other birthdays um, for this month so I didn't have to not less one of you want me to put your birthday in my planner and just drop your date and I will put this sticker in there with your birthday but um, with that being said I just really didn't have a lot to mark um, I really don't put my cleaning days in there because I don't have a cleaning day it's like I'm off and I clean <laughs> that's how that works so this is my spread I like it I really like how the um, deco stickers from Lysink Oats has kind of brightened up the page gave it some character I'm really liking this sticker I might have to see if she can sell these individually because she is just everything she reminds me of my planner sister Lisa Mack but you know come next month I'm gonna have my my weave girl that's gonna look like me I just am not gonna be that skinny <laughs> but anyway so this is my weekly spread for January 21st to the 27th can y'all believe that we are at the end of January already um, I hope January has been productive I hope that whatever trials and tribulations that you may have um, occurred or have been dealing with this month that has been a learning experience and that you have not dwelt in it and you move on to the next month um, and keep planning keep pushing keep praying keep inspiring but with all that being said if you like this um, you know drop me a comment below as well while you drop in a comment check the description box for all the um, discount codes the discount code is in there for this one um, as well um, if you haven't done so subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and just to let me know that y'all are here with me that y'all are you know loving me give me a check-in by clicking that thumbs up and if this has inspired you pay it forward and share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan so until next time planner fam peace Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.